Hey guys, it's Callum from the Double Drew here, and today we'll be revealing the origin of one of my favourite superheroes. That would be the stereotypical Southerner. You look nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Rogue. Let's get into it. Anna Marie, later known as Rogue, grew up in a hippie commune alongside her hippie parents and attentive aunt. The commune failed at an attempt to use Native American mysticism, possibly a form of magic, to reach the spiritual realm known as the Far Banks. Her mother was the only one that made it, though at the time it was believed she had died. From then, her father raised her as a single parent until Anna Marie ran away from home a few years later. Due to the declining quality of, her, of the parenting, on the parts of her still grieving father and aunt. It was at this point she took on the name Rogue. Some time later, Rogue and a boy named Cody grew close and she eventually kissed him impulsively. It is at this point that her mutant ability to absorb memories, powers and a psyche through life force energy manifested, putting Cody in a coma. This traumatised Rogue and she started wearing skin concealing clothes to make sure she never hurt anyone by accident again. She couldn't control her powers at this point, and wouldn't be able to for years to come. Shortly thereafter, Rogue was fostered by the mutant criminal Raven Darkholm, aka Mystique, and her life partner Irene Adler, otherwise known as Destiny. Mystique channeled Rogue's bitter feelings into anger and recruited her into a Brotherhood of Evil Mutants, and aimed that anger at the Brotherhood's enemies. At this time, Rogue fought against the X-Men the Avengers on a regular basis, even permanently taking the memories and powers of Carol Danvers, who was known at the time as Miss Marvel. Over time and many criminal acts, the mix of so many people's memories conflicting with their own, as well as the effects showing Miss Mystique's actions for what they were, Rogue was eventually drawn to Charles Xavier, leader of her enemies, the X-Men, for help. He did help her, and despite her wrongdoings, was invited into the X-Men. From then on, Rogue became a mainstay superhero who dedicated her life for helping others. She even gained a family in the form of her foster brother, even if her relationship with her foster mothers was less than stellar, one being a criminal and the other being, well, dead. So that was the origin story of Rogue. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be doing another one next week. As always, if you want more, please like and subscribe. I will be putting the recommended reading on the screen now. And that's it, guys. Thank you very much. Again, please like and subscribe. This has been Karen from the Double Duo. And until next time, guys, see you later.